black holes that I was talking about, it is the as below, so above, because it's a fractal black hole theory that everything, everywhere, at every level, from your atom to your chakra, to the sun, to the earth, to all the, um, the Bermuda Triangle, and all these sorts of things, are actually creating black holes at every, the, the poles of the planet. You know, it's all going through the same principle as something out at the centre of a galaxy. And what that principle is, is the light of consciousness. Mm -hmm. The infinite light of consciousness is expressing itself at different, different levels. And I say moves as a spiral, but as you say, light doesn't really move, you oh, know, because it has no space and time. Mm -hmm. And what it does when it gets to the edge of the speed of light, which is uh, what I'm renaming the perception horizon, is it splits and our telescopes pick up that split and what we see in our telescopes coming out of black holes are electrons at the speed of light and all the astronomers are thinking what's going on where's it coming from and where it's coming from is the infinite infinite light that's beyond our normal <coughs> perception 99 percent of the universe is unknown to us but the, the cosmologists call it dark energy and dark matter it's not it's the light that's beyond this level. And because this level is all we measure, the scientists say that's all there is to the world. There's many different levels of consciousness. And what we have below the speed of light is this situation where the polarity split, the photon, becomes the electron and the positron. And the electron and the positron are the ones that have space and time, mass, charge, all of those things that we associate with our lives. Our material world. Yeah, the yeah. material world. The photon doesn't. Mm. You know, so we keep talking about the speed of light, but as you say, how does light go at the speed of light? Mm. You know, so now we're realising that there, there is beyond that, and CERN has found those um, aspects in neutrinos that are going faster than light recently. There's much more than that. Mm. It's the light of consciousness, as you say, and that has no bounds. And we, at every single level, in this fractal universe are manifesting from the infinite spiral and we come to the edge, even our chakras are doing it. Our chakras, what are they? Spinning vortices. It, the light from infinity <coughs> comes to the edge of our reality in our chakras and splits and forms the matter and the antimatter and the, mat the matter forms our bodies and the antimatter forms what I see are unconscious emotions. And it's by the sort of work that Olivia is doing, where you actually bring the polarities of the emotions together, that you continuously move that back into light. So by emotional resolution, you know, you actually bring the matter and the antimatter together of your body and your antimatter body, and you move into light, and you do it again with the next situation, and you do it again with the next, and by that we increase our vibration, we become a greater bandwidth, as William Tiller, Professor William Tiller says, and we have increased love, and that love resonates out, and we're able to do this sort of work with each other because that expansion.